okay, when the chaos happens. I'm going to give you a couple of little examples from what I saw <coughs> coaching just over the two days, Friday and Saturday. Okay, had my girls, they finished, I was waiting for my girl under 13, Sandgate. Okay, good experienced coach, okay. The best thing about him is that the girls want to play for him. Okay, that's great. But they did their warm up lap, did all their skill drills. Where does the word drill come from, by the way? Drill. The army. So it does work, doesn't it? If you're going to war. Okay, it works. But at the same time, there's been studies that said, okay, when they're in a war situation, it all falls apart because it's chaos. There's other stuff happening. Okay, so right, I, coach, at this point, okay, after they've done everything, I'm not sure if they played their game, we were too busy having our games, right? He grabbed one tackling pad, standing like this. What did the girls do? What was the first thing that he asked them to do? Get in a straight line. Okay, now luckily, I was standing with three diverse parents, and I asked them, because I was getting ready for this, believe it or not, I thought I could use it as evidence. Okay, and basically, I said to them, where is the learning here? What are they learning? Now, the first lady, I won't mention her name, um, she's a, a librarian, but also plays a saxophone in lots of bands, right? So she's a bit about feel, I suppose. She said, okay, well, I'll tell you what, what they're learning. The tackle bags don't move and they're soft. Okay, that's the first thing. Next thing was this. Righto, guys, this is the engineer because he's, he's, he's fairly loud. Righto, guys, I've got the answer. They're learning how to line up and it's a nice straight line. Okay, great. They're learning that. And finally, the guy, he was a plumber in the army and he said, it's all about discipline. And I said, mate, you're, you're, you are correct on that one. I agree, it's more about that than anything else. And how did you follow it up? How did you finish the sessions off? How many laps did they do? One or two? Two. And then the army guy said, yeah, it was a discipline. <laughs> so that's the thing, guys. This is where you've got to challenge the way you're thinking. Okay? Here I am giving a lecture now, trying to get you to think, which is my only job really on this one. For you guys to get into the games, you're going to have to change the way you think. Because we were all taught this way as as PE people, right? PE teachers are the worst at it. I could give you all the evidence that, that, that suggests it, right? PE people, get them in line. I was at a conference the other day and one of the ex-coaches from the Sydney Kings said, you guys are to blame, okay? All you want is a straight line. I said, hey, it's not us who are to blame, it's the school principal. <laughs> Why? Why is that the answer? Sorry? Yeah, I never got a job as a head of department. <laughs> In phys ed, I got them for sport, I got them for pastoral care, got them for campus ministry, all kinds of stuff. Never head of PE because I was a crazy man, okay? And I mean that, okay? Before our swimming laps, etc., we had um, pyramid building, water wrestling, all kinds of stuff. There's guys playing the NRL right now who love this um, game that I invented called Struggle Camp, wrestling, okay? Then you do your laps, okay? So,